Hi guys, and as you can see here, I have this um, Alpine Stars Durban Gore-Tex jacket. I'd like to uh, just share with you some of my thoughts on this one. Now, obviously, this um, is a is an upgrade from all the gears I have. My first Alpine Stars jacket and my first Gore-Tex jacket. I say mine, but. I'm actually going to return this and I'll, I'll just explain why in uh, in a couple of minutes time. This jacket was uh, purchased from MCA Leicester, so uh, it's, a, it's an actual shop I believe and um, they've actually done a very good deal on this one. Uh, the retail price is about £580 and they were able to reduce it to £400, obviously free shipping. and. Uh, can't really fault their service, you know, it's next day delivery, uh, very friendly staff on the phone. Um, but, you know, obviously I'm going to return this. Not because it's not a good jacket, not because it's, you know, it, I, th I think it looks very nice. I, I was going to have the black one, but this sandy grey black combination, I feel is very nice. The cool features, I mean, you can go online and find loads and loads of technical details about this, what they call, um, you know, tech touring jacket. Uh, it's got more stuff than I'll ever need, to be honest. The venting on this jacket was quite remarkable. So there's lots of zip open vents on the inside of your forearms, on the shoulders, chest, and um, a really nice touch was the the center vent that you can unzip and have this mesh type of um, connecting bit uh, that links the two zips up. So all in all, it's, it's a really good jacket. Um, it's comfortable, it's, it's just the right size. It's 54, I think, size 54. So I've got 44 inch chest. Very comfortable, very nice and cozy once you you know, once you put it on. The back of the jacket is also quite, well, quite, looks quite complicated. There's lots of things going on. You've got the um, little tabs that you can pull out to put their uh, neck support in, which I'll never use. And there's a hydration pack. You can put a little um, hydration bladder in there. Again, which I will not use. Um, so you may be asking, why do you bother bu buying a jacket of this sort of um, specification? To be honest, it was the 100% waterproof um, feature that I'm after. For example, the, the, the feature to re remove both sleeves and wear it as, as, a, as a vest. I mean, that to me is just mm, doesn't appeal to me because I'm wearing protective gears. And if you take the the elbow pad and the whole sleeve off well it's not going to be very good is it as for protection so there's lots of um um you know the the fiber what they call it the you know super fiber or amazing stuff that alpine stars um, being able to put on their jacket so it's teflon coated very practical it's got this big pouch in the back that expands waterproof so you can put things inside it so this is the back view and uh, i'm just going to go and talk about the part that i don't like and why i'm going to return this so for jacket. 400 pounds you can't really go wrong uh, money wise this is a, a if i were to use it for the winter only i would definitely keep it but for the summer and well let's say late spring early autumn you, well, you you will not be using the thermal jacket inside. I uh, hope you can see this, it's quite dark. The camera may not pick this up, but this jacket is fleece lined and it's really comfortable to wear. But if you are not wear the Gore-Tex thermal jacket with the outer shell together, it's not really Gore-Tex jacket, you know, it's, it's, it's it won't be 100% waterproof, although it's got the water repellent um, outer shell and that will be very good, I'm sure, um, to stop people from getting wet, you know, if you just wear the out outer one. But I'm not going to be 
confident enough to commute uh, 60 miles a day not wearing the Gore-Tex uh, in the jacket and still get to work with my work clothes underneath the, the, the main outer jacket. So that's the single most reason. Another thing you may want to consider is the way that the inner jacket isn't zipped to the outside uh, so you have to put it on almost like two separate jackets. So there are some um, connection points where you can see the red tabs so they are not se uh, totally separated but when you do put it on you've got to be careful you've got to lift this one and uh, make sure you you know you have to zip the inside one and then the outside jacket so a little bit um, you know unexpected really because I I thought the Gore-Tex is going to be for the jacket and obviously the thermal liner was separate but I didn't do my homework properly, so sorry Alpine Stars, it looks like I'm not going to keep you after all. Um, it's really a shame because I do like this this colour um, color combination. So my next choice, or the one I'm going to go for, uh, is, uh, well, come back and uh, watch my next uh, quick uh, demonstration of the, the other jacket that I'm going to get. And I'm also going to talk about the pair of trousers that I got from uh, Alpine Stars and uh, the good and the bad. Thanks for watching. See you next time.